courage, loyalty, commitment, dedication, tenacity, faithful to the cause, unselfish. These are the words that certainly come to mind most when you think about uh, the Vi. The Vi, who provided vital support for the Fenian movement over the 50 years in his exile home in New York, had his name erased from history and the struggle for Irish independence. This hero sacrificed everything, his home, his relationship with his sweetheart, his friendships, everything, and yet was largely forgotten, simply a footnote in history. Such injustices must be corrected. Dedicating this statue and using it as a kickoff for the 100th anniversary of the Easter Uprising helps correct this wrong. Mayor of Kildare, Ambassador O'Malley, deputies, elected representatives, members and family of the Kildare Association of New York, the John Devoy New York Memorial Committee, the John Devoy Committee of NACE, and NACE Local History Group, descendants of John Devoy, and all who are gathered here on this auspicious occasion. I would like to welcome you all on behalf of Kildare County Council to the unveiling of the statue in honour of John Devoy. Devoy as a man stands tall, a rebel, a Fenian and a die-hard patriot. He helped organise the daring escape from custody of James Stevens, swore British soldiers into the ranks of the Fenian movement and was arrested and tried for treason and imprisoned in England. Eventually, he was exiled to the US. Here too, in his adopted home, he found San Miguel, engineered the escape of the Fenian prisoners from Australia, and worked with Davis and Purnell during the land war. <coughs> the boy forged links with the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and eventually pioneered a new revolutionary movement within the US, and is remembered for his tough, unflinching, obstinate role on behalf of his country, being described by some as the most dangerous enemy that Ireland has produced since both Tone. The fact that this memorial is being unveiled today, uh, almost 25 years after Seamus Curran first conceived of it, is a fantastic story uh, in many ways. It tells a lot about perseverance and dedication, which has, a which has uh, obviously a unique parallel in John Devoy's own journey. John Devoy, like so many other Irishmen, uh, made the most of his opportunities uh, in America. He was a committed Irish patriot and did everything in his power to make sure that the relations, the relationship between the United States of America and Ireland uh, remained at a very high level and made sure that the people of the United States and the people of Ireland were thoroughly connected. I had the pleasure of uh, visiting uh, New York for St. Patrick's Day earlier uh, this year and you couldn't but be struck by their enthusiasm and their pride in Dubai. Uh, and certainly the fundraising that they undertook was very impressive and maybe they, you know, their enthusiasm represented some of the uh, characteristics of, of Devoy himself. As we stand here today we remember this great work of John Devoy, a man who left great memories in the world. I imagine of great joys of growing old and feeling satisfied that you're used up. You, you have used your energy wisely and left your mark in history. John Devoy was such a man. Today is about John Devoy and the thousands of unknown and uncelebrated men, women, who made Irish independence possible by supporting the cause, both in Ireland and around the world. I sincerely pray that all who pass this statue remember that all efforts to build a better future must be celebrated. Having returned to America in 1924, Devoy began writing his memoirs Recollection of an Irish Rebel. At the age of 86, his health deteriorated and he died in September 1928. The number of mourners at John Devoy's funeral mass at Manhattan's Church of the Ascension 
forced the police to close adjacent streets. John Devoy would make one final journey to Ireland. His remains arrived in Dublin where he lay in state in City Hall before he was accorded a state funeral to Glasnevin Cemetery and laid to rest among his fellow Fenian comrades. Okay.